Hello everyone, this is XM Physics. In this video, I'm going to explain why electric fuel lines and equipotential lines must cut perpendicularly. So let's say we have three equipotential lines here. And let's suppose that the electric fuel line doesn't cut them perpendicularly. Instead, uh, it's cutting them at an angle as shown here. Now, what does this mean? That means that at this point here, um, the electric field is directed in this direction. Now we can resolve the electric field into two components, one that's perpendicular to the equipotential line and the other that is parallel along the equipotential line. Remember that the uh, electric field uh, is the potential gradient. So what this component here is saying is that the electric potential is decreasing along this direction. That's fine. But this component here is saying that the electric potential is decreasing along this direction. But that cannot be because this is an equipotential line and the potential along this entire line is constant at 10 volts. That's why the electric fuel line can only cut equipotential lines perpendicularly because the potential can only change in the direction perpendicular to the equipotential lines. In general, um, equipotential lines and fuel lines are not straight lines. They can be curves. But still, at every intersection, the electric fuel line have to cut the equipotential lines perpendicularly. If you imagine the equipotential lines to be the contour lines on geography maps, then the electric fuel lines will be like the tracks made by some sticky ball that's rolling very slowly uh, down the slope. The track is only going to cut the contour lines perpendicularly. Why? Because uh, gravity will only try to pull you down slope. Gravity will not try to pull you along level ground. Get it? Alright, so um, this exam physics, I try to give uh, intuitive explanations. If you like my style, please like, share, and subscribe. That's all. Ta-ta!